Okay, let's talk about a little bit. We talk about that, about Georgian animation history first, and then we can talk about uh, what's going on now and about your work and the, the studio. Um, you said it's interesting. I read some interview that, that, you, that you did, and you said that the animation come around the 20s, but it's propaganda for a lot of stuff. And the first one, which is interesting, it's a feature in 29, My Grandmother. And I've seen a little bit of it, and it's kind of crazy. It's still working. I don't know how it's not... It should be more known, because that's a really masterpiece. Yeah, I'm, I'm thankful that you have seen it, because um, it's really kind of such a brilliant movie for me, honestly. Uh, I think so. Um, it was forbidden for 40 years, and uh, yeah, recently, like 25 years ago, 30 years ago, it appeared, and uh, so they, um, they start to do a lot of new sound music for for this film even the, um, the nowadays electronic music artists are making sound um, for this film it is um, for me it's really like masterpiece and it's amazing that for that time the director could uh, combine with live action all the uh, style of animation like um, 2D drawing or cutout or um, puppets so it's really amazing work and uh, so we are proud of this film <laughs> and it's quite interesting because it's yes. 29 okay Eisenstein was was just going on uh, actually it's, it's such a Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So not a, well, almost a groundbreaking. I mean, I was surprised that it absolutely. was not so known and not so talked about in uh, history. Yeah, because communist. communist Uh, uh, this uh, uh, they really uh, locked the film, so there there was no way uh, to see this film, and uh, so it, it played its role that it's not so famous, and uh, we try now our all best to make it uh, make it popular. So. Then we had this quite masterpiece, and then it's going to be quite difficult, of course, for Georgian animation during the time because, of course, of the Soviet of the big brother terrible so it's kind of a difficult uh, time but still you have some great directors but it must be never struggle no you have to the censorship was strong yes so. uh, absolutely um, you're right and uh, so the, there were kind of uh, three four decades after that so uh, for the first time uh, in 1938 appear Argonauts um, the film And uh, so they start to develop uh, animation industry, uh, kind of. But after the war, of course, the, the Second World War, there was uh, difficulties. And uh, um, uh, then slowly it started again. And they uh, in Georgia, um, they started to make Disney-style uh, animation films, which are quite interesting uh, because uh, uh, they have this uh, movement of Disney-style, but they put a lot of folklore so uh, a lot of uh, traditional dances and songs and it, it, it works quite well uh, even the kids watch nowadays these films and um, yeah so afterwards there was um, kind of Zagreb animation style of an, uh, in Georgia developed and um, they they were quite uh, popular also uh, even to an AC festival there was one film from Bondo Shoshitai Shui and um, then came the new wave uh, in 80s mm. uh, with the, so the professor was Gela Gandelagi and Thomas Gomelauri uh, at the University of uh, Film and Theater and uh, this new wave was very special because uh, uh, they took care uh, more to make films uh, more like spiritual movement of uh, human beings uh, so it, it was not like comic uh, style but more artistic and uh, the most uh, successful uh, uh, in from those 80s movies was uh, uh, from David Tagaishvili the film which won in Cannes the prize the plaque It was 1983. Before going to nowadays and to what's going on uh, 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 right now, uh, Georgia is, in a, is a really special country when you look at its position in the world because you have like Europe, 
you have Asia and you have also Middle East yeah. countries. Do you there is something really important in the way you are in the world? In the geographical. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, so uh, I, I'm always joking that you need the to to find out especially Georgian map because when you watch <laughs> European map so it's really on the right corner a small part uh, and on Asian map is an another half of the <laughs> Georgia so you really need to find especially Georgian map to see the country so it's really in the middle of Europe and Asia and uh, so culturally it, it has big influence also from both uh, I, from my point of view so of course it's an um, orthodox country and uh, it's it's European so we say that we are European so and orientation and everything and uh, but uh, for example in some architecture um, buildings you can see the touch of Asian um, uh, art of architecture or in some traditions also so it's really an interesting mixture uh, from my point of view and it gives a special special flair <laughs> so to say to Georgia and we will see but it's showing also in like you say uh, I, I didn't translate that but we'll translate that in the architecture in the art in the mosaic in everything right, we yeah. felt so, something that it's yeah, sometimes mix. in one building you see the first floor is really typical European architecture and the, the next floors or are the way around yeah so it's typical Asian so it's really eclectic so to say. okay in the 90s and uh, of course uh The political yeah. situation was also, well, of course, very difficult uh, in Georgia. Uh, it was, of, co of course, also terrible. I mean, on, on human being, of course, but also on art. Yes, it was a very yeah, it was a moment. big, big, huge gap because uh, after this uh, system broke down and um, so everything was um, yeah, so it's it, it was quite difficult and uh, yeah, when there was no electricity and uh, there was a war and um, people suffer, so nobody had time for for art and film and animation. So there was a big gap and then afterwards in 2000, almost uh, 2000, then started the Georgian. National Film Center to support the films and slowly um, then the animation films as well so it started really um, slowly but surely to develop so we will listen to some music and then we will talk about the the 10 years from 2010 yeah. until uh, until today and the importance of what's going on Uh, for the Ge for Georgian animation, but then we will have somebody who is really famous uh, uh, in Georgia. But not only it's uh, he, he went uh, outside of Georgia also. Uh, his name is Kayakata, and we will hear Polo Palace. Can you introduce a little bit? Uh, who is he? Mm, <laughs> Ma Maxime Machaidze. I, I, I remember him as a little baby because he's a son friend of mine. <laughs> And um, yeah, so he's really a talented young artist, and um, I'm glad that we can share this music now. <laughs> uh, so what's going on? I mean, yes, of, co of course, National Film Center, that's cool, but still, in 10 years, it seemed like we've been to, oh, do you know Georgian animation? Not really. Uh, oh, yeah, we know now Georgian. And there is not, I mean, you don't have that in Azerbaijan or, you know, uh, other ex uh, sovietic country so what's really it's yeah so in this um, time when i told that there was a gap i mean fortunately the animators they they didn't stop to create the scripts and the ideas to develop so when, whenever they got the um, support from state so it, it started uh, the producing also And, uh, for example, uh, the small studios appear and different little studios uh, in the city and also in the villages. So uh, in village Nikosi, where we have uh, established the festival as well. And um, then um, step by step, it started to become more and more uh, interest from uh, young generation. And, uh, for example, um, that was for me the motivation uh, to make this workshop with the um, Annecy Festival together. And uh, each year we bring um, professional Olivia Catherine, uh, producer from France, uh, to uh, train our 
young uh, animators um, during five days and then uh, the best project uh, goes to France uh, and um, so it's, it, it's really a good um, a platform for Georgian animators to develop the projects and to bring out of the country to find the co-producers so, and to co-finance the film because the uh, Georgian National Film Center supports but it's very low budget so um, unfortunately and you need always the co-producer to finish your film and to make it on the European standard level so and then we can we can talk about the pocket man which right. was of course that you could produce that was in something in 2015 yeah. was the first time this workshop and then the result was that in 2015 Anna Chubinidze the illustrator um, so newcomer in animation she went to Annecy and she pitched the project and the studio Folimash from France and Nadazi studio uh, from Swiss uh, they um, would, they had the wish to co-produce and I was really glad that it developed uh, on this way that I dreamed so to say because that was my idea to make this workshop and to bring the project interna on an international platform that the people see that in uh, in animation in Georgia there is a potential there are good ideas and there is interesting artists so well, the pocket man is uh, from the last years the most successful Georgian film I can say uh, so we went like 140 festivals almost 30, almost 35 prizes and what's very important that uh, for the first time it was the Georgian animation distribution in France for three months in 185 festival uh, cinemas in France so it was for it was really great for Georgian animation we always say that you know I, I remember talking to other people and from let's say smaller country and uh, they said that of course when you have one big success at one point uh, well you think why not me and then of course it's like you say it's quite important to have a film like that uh, like a milestone and then you can say okay maybe right. I will do Yes, yeah, so Something. it's um, it, in the Pocket Man was produced in Georgian company Quali Twenty One, which is actually there. Uh, the Quali Studio, our studio, is the same age as Folimaj. So Folimaj was founded in 1981, and Quali as well. So it was a good connection <laughs> of us on 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 the way. And um, of course, this story of the Pocket Man and the success of Anna brought the motivation for other animators. And uh, if for one year we had like in the beginning eight or ten entries, the next year was 16 and it's growing and growing. So and um, so you mentioned about Azerbaijan and Armenia. So last year, for example, we opened our uh, call for not only Georgian, but Armenian uh, participants. And this year we open call for Azerbaijani uh, participants and the Ministry of uh, Culture in Azerbaijan is supporting us. So it's, we have a good news. And we have two prizes, yes. Uh, it's a Fontevro residency one month uh, and um, the accreditation for Annecy Festival. So, so it's, it's interesting because what you're saying is it's, it's first was Georgian animation, but now you try to have this... Yes. Other country around you that will follow our neighbors, the states, right? Yeah, your neighbors. Yes. So, so it's, uh, in 2019, I have founded the um, Georgian Animators Association, Sakanima, and so our members are from Armenia, Azerbaijan, from France, for example, Olivier. Also, so <laughs> whoever is interested to to work in animation industry in Georgia, everybody is welcome in our association. So we are kind of giving um, uh, possibility the platform for. for for the animators to get together and to share their experience and uh, it, until now we have 60 members so and yeah so it's for free and um, yeah so I, it, it's it's really good possibility for example this year at CE animation we organized a delegation like association organized a delegation of Georgian animators we brought them it was online but we introduced to the market and uh, there were um, the Georgian animators had very um, successful meetings there I mean it will come for the next year the, the films but I'm not a allowed to say anything now <laughs> 
but also at Annecy Festival, we're organizing the um, pavilion, like mm-hmm. Georgian pavilion. And uh, so we're kind of bringing together all the small studios in one space, so to say. So we, we, we realized that there is a need to connect them to each other because they were kind of separated after this big gap. And um, yeah, so we bring together. And of course, we're open for our neighbors. And not only so for the next year, we're planning in Bulgaria also. So, so, not, so we're spreading <laughs> <laughs> our workshop idea and development ideas. So. It's important to be um, feeling, being part of the community of animation of the world because it's you are also part of uh, you were also part of the Emil Awards and things like that. That's really important for yes. for you. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, I'm uh, ambassador for Georgia at Emil Awards, and I just uh, go back shortly um, because um, I would like to mention that the USAID program for economic security supports uh, will support uh, now the, mm, the Georgian Animators Association. So it gives us more possibility to to bring out of our country from our country the animators so, so which aid is it sorry I don't USAID so okay. it's uh, from US okay. uh, so it's uh, USAID program for economic security so it's okay. so and the pocket man was got a price now in in United States in a festival no was different festivals different yeah, festival w- really yeah. worked very, really, yeah, really yeah, well yeah, in the uh, yeah, United yeah, States yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, the, this uh, association will be supported with this program. And um, yeah, so I have big hope that uh, we'll get stronger. So Th- That's a question that is really important today. It should be important e- every day, of course, but it's yeah. uh, even more important uh, today as we speak. It's uh, the place of women, of course, in the world and in animation. I think that when I read the name, there is a lot of women yes. in animation yes. in Georgia. For, right example, away. Yeah. for example, I have a new team now working on a new project and uh, I have... Um, mm, eight nine animators one boy and eight <laughs> girls <laughs> so <laughs> woman rocks and the director is woman as well so, so it's interesting because it's uh, yeah. yeah yeah so it's it's a new generation was right. like that and we will make another uh, uh, a musical moment and it okay. will be a woman singing okay. so you will pronounce it better than me Nino Katamadze Katamadze can you yeah it's more more traditional than the two that we it's heard before, no? Yes, yeah, so it's. Uh, I would say um, Nino is singing more uh, her own style. So it's kind of uh, direction jazz, folk. So it's 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 also a uh, very nice mixture. So therefore I choose her song also because I like this mixtures, which is very uh, done in very good taste. Yes. What struck me when um, when we begin with Sayat Nova, with a famous uh, poet, f- poet from Armenia, but uh, when what struck me was the importance of poetry in the work of animators. If we take your film, the youth, the youth and the leopard, it's about uh, 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 a poetry, a, a poet. When you took the first song that we hear, uh, it's also about a poet. And it seems, and I ask Olivier, but I would like to have your <laughs> your uh, opinion on that. That's it's such such an important place in the life of Georgian people I don't know uh, the the poetry and to use the poets the world of the poets yes it's it's quite um, important so we grew up with the with the poems and it's uh, very typical uh, that the kids learn a lot of poems and then in youth you also learn in the school but they are very uh, interesting traditional folk poems and uh, that was uh, uh, the reason also why I made my last film uh, as a director um, based on the poem and um, yeah so it's we have a really good tradition for especially folk poems I would say and in my film I would like to add uh, I have used also from archive the old recording of the actor and uh, so it was also a kind of similar, uh, like we have uh, heard the um, song in the beginning. So uh, the musician, he used the poetry uh, of the archive as well. So I don't know. So it's kind of now I realize that the, the, there was a link. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, we can talk. There is something about the past now. There is a strong connection between the past of Georgia and nowadays, no? Mm-hmm. 
Yes, uh, because um, uh, Georgia is, uh, has long, long traditions. I mean, and it's very old country, so to say. So we have, for example, the first uh, wine. Uh, so this um, grapes were found like 6,000 years before crisis. So the, it's a wine country with the big traditions and big, big culture. So, um, so it's old nation and we have our own uh, writing also one of the 15 alphabets of the world so nobody only Georgians can read this (laughs) 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 letters and uh, yeah it's uh, it's 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 very special country I would say and that's interesting because um, there is no any is there any any mission with the writing the the letters of uh, Georgian alphabet uh, you, you know, because w- when you have such a, a drawing alphabet, you could play with them. I mean, yes, you yes. I, I, we, we I have, have done for some TV spots. Okay. We have done, yeah, for sure. And because for example, uh, for example, now we are working in our company on on the project, like a small TV series uh, based on Georgian words, and it's also such a playing of the character and the alphabet and words so it will be like in between of the programs it's with the first uh, channel broadcast uh, we co-produce so it's our new project when, when we say about uh, the the importance of the past uh, in your film we have also fragments of uh, a monastery uh, uh, frescoes of monastery right. it seems also important to uh, I don't know to, to have your film rooted in your country which doesn't mean it can talk universally of course but to have something really yeah yeah i think th- that's the basic where we grew up and it's our background so um so for me it's very precious to have to to feel uh, yeah so to, to feel strong and to be based on that I, even the, the new generation you have uh, you have daughter you have a, you, you, even the new generation is still I strong think, about that I, I think it's such a special country that um, yeah so that it's normal I think yeah so it's I mean we are open for everything and for for, for different cultures and um, the hospitality is really the, the very important um, thing in Georgia and uh, everybody's welcome and in a city in Tbilisi there were 17 different nationalities living all in Soviet times already and you can see in the main city in the capital that uh, next to synagogue you have Orthodox Church and then Moshe so it's, it's really like 50 100 meters from each other so it's very open society and um, so i hope it will stay like this so maybe there are some problems nowadays but um, yeah so traditionally georgia was always very open your film is interesting because uh you had a, a, a of course a civil war and like you say it's hospitality and it seems your film is like you have to understand the pain. The film is about a mother who lose lose a son to a, a, um, a, a leopard, and suddenly she understand that maybe the mother of the leopard feel the same thing. So that's really about yeah. That, yeah. that was the topic. What was very interesting and important uh, at that moment when I was doing this film because to forgive somebody, yeah, so then to to say sorry. So it's 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 very hard. I think nowadays it's also special topic. Uh, and um, people can think about this so that was my message you know because uh, it's not easy for everybody to forgive and to 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 say sorry so that was the idea for, for both parts actually yes that's why it's interesting yes. is that yes. to yes understand the other one even if it's yeah. difficult but yeah, you have to understand yeah so what, what what is the world yeah so we are here so we have to have respect to each other we have to understand each other so there shouldn't be any wars and conflicts so we have to support each other and not to fight so when i watch when i watch uh, the youth and Leopard again i was not surprised finally that you decided to uh, uh Produced such a difficult film as Amandanet Village because there is also there is connection between the two films. You take times. It's when I say connection, yeah. it's directing connection. Not yeah, there sure. is also Bedik. So, mm. so it was. It was challenging, yeah. yeah. So and um, so a, a lot of people were very skeptical <laughs> because of the timing and the style. But I believed uh, from the very beginning and. Uh, 
it um, it is kind of statement also against all this yeah so popcorn movies blockbusters <laughs> whatever uh, people go to watch in the cinemas and uh, for me it's really uh, very re it's really amazing that uh, we received the prize from the french audience here in paris and um, so it, it, it's amazing i'm very thankful for french audience who who really uh, took their time and uh, enjoyed the movie and uh, who wove for us and thank you for the festival PF that you invited us and uh, so we are over it here it's really amazing because yeah so f for me it's a hope that not not everything is lost so <laughs> not everything is gone in animation and it could be that uh, people would enjoy artistic films it's there is a trend well not a trend uh, unfortunately but yeah to try to fight for slow movie or try to finally have slow cinema and to mm. take time yeah. uh, because even now if the american films and hollywood not say american hollywood are like three hours the pace is like six hours it, they, they have plenty of things they, they don't take time they don't have a moment when you just look at a, no. a bird or something like that so that's quite important for you for this film and It's working a lot. It went to NC, Ottawa, it went yes. to Pia, it went to a lot of uh, Shitose, it went to a lot of festivals. So it works Japan, Canada, exactly. France. Yes, yes. A lot, a lot, lot of countries. Yes. It must be great Czech, for a producer. Czech Republic Czech, as well, yeah. and uh, Animateca, it was screening. So, I mean, yeah, so all the precious festivals, they, they show this film, and I'm really gr glad. Uh, yeah, so in, in producer's name, <laughs> I can say. <laughs> When you Produce, when you produce a film like that and somebody will come to you and say okay it's going to be 15 minutes shots so there's to be only one shot uh, like you say you believed it quite quickly but then to produce it must have been difficult no? It was very difficult yes of course the, so Mariam Kapanadze came with the idea and then the professionals in our studio Kvali and the film center Abhazeti so um, uh, we support her idea so we develop together and uh, we had really good professionals the animator I have to say Elena Murjignelli was working three years on this film and the artist the Iraqli Doglik Ishvili he made 24 four amazing backgrounds for this so I have to mention these names because they really for no money for low budget worked on that film and also eight uh, it was almost six animators who animated together and um, yeah with the sound um, I have to mention Post Red Studio uh, they are our um, collaborators in, on this project and I hope for the next projects as well so it was uh, with the sound was also very special work uh, done so it was recordings live recordings and um, yeah, a lot of thinking discussing and uh, so then in the end we, we made this film in corona time so we, it was in pandemic time finished so also all this and it was really very little budget and uh, but but we are proud that uh, we could make it Like you say, it's comforting when you do a film like that and it kind of work. And maybe it's going to be, you told me, maybe it's going to be shown in France again. Maybe it's, it, it, it yes. had been in museum in Japan and everything. It's, yes, yeah? at the moment it's in uh, Nagano Prefecture Museum for two months uh, running um, as, an, uh, as a video installation. So and it was in Tokyo uh, Photo Museum screening. So it's it's a film not only for for the cinema screening but also like uh, video art art of animation, like uh, to bring alive the the painting, so to say. It's something we talk a little bit uh, about that. That's something that's quite important to animation art. Yes, you, you yes. really that's something you talk about. Like yeah, you have to bring back. Right. You think that it's kind of fighting between the commercial because that's interesting yes I and, asked. yeah and then uh, that brought me to idea to make this um, uh, for the first time we are planning to make an animation conference in Georgia in October 16th and 17th of October and uh, Tbilisi City, uh, City Hall is supporting us financially and uh, also Georgian National Film Center and uh, that will be the topic of our conference how to bring back the art of animation which is a bit lost I mean we see 
see amazing, technically absolutely fantastic films, but the ideas behind this and the stories behind this. So important is in art how you do so, and uh, so that that what we are um, looking for to talk about and uh, to to shout about, <laughs> so to say. To finish the new project, can you tell us a little bit? I know, and Olivier will talk a little bit, but really. Few Shortly, words yes. about the feature. So you working on feature. You working on a new short film for you. So right. let's so talk we, about the project. We have, of we have several projects uh, on the table. So for example, uh, the moment we started to. Um, Produce um, the film center Prazetti with collaboration N and N Studio. Uh, director is um, Nana Janelice, famous Georgian director, and she is also the producer. Her new project is live action, but she has um, almost uh, half an hour part of animation in her film, and the title is Where Is Lisa Going? And uh, the topic is uh, about Abkhazian uh, war, and not only. Yeah, so so it's it's really our pain what we had this war in our life and uh, so it's it's very um, touchy topic for uh, every Georgian and um, so we're uh, collaborating uh, and uh, our consult I think um, partners are uh, Studio Chuck from France and uh, Olivia Caterin also, he's also involved. So we're looking forward for uh, our new new baby, so to say. And I'm sure the film will be very successful. And um, I have my own project also, the short film and um, the TV series, what I mentioned. And we're in negotiation with the Hungarian company for service production. So it's slowly, but I try all my best that the animation industry develops in Georgia. So, Are you not afraid if you put industry in Georgia that you will lose the artistic part of animation? I think there's a long way yeah. <laughs> until then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, so it's such a small uh, funding budgets in Georgia that um, yeah, so it's it's it, we have a long way. <laughs> so that, I'm, I'm I'm not worrying about. That. <laughs> Can and, and in our studio since 30 years, we do only artistic films, so I don't think we change the style. So can you tell us a little uh, uh, the name because. The, the, the name that we're gonna listen right now, I would. Uh, it's a folk metal band, so it's uh, it's not your thing. But uh, we will listen to Olivier, and after Olivier, we'll listen to Natalie Beridze. Beridze. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an, uh, also uh, uh, also a name is Tibia, and she's doing Tba. some Tba. Tibia. Tba. Tba. Oh, you said Tba. 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 Okay. Tba. <laughs> she's doing some electronic music. Actually, yeah. she went to Berlin. Now she's back to Berlin. Yeah, she she used to live in Germany yeah, for a while, and she's yeah very interesting, very talented young. Yes, yes. Yes. And it's interesting because uh, like we hear some folk metal and the electronic uh, uh, also uh, uh, scene in, in uh, Georgia seems quite interesting. And uh, we will listen to everything. And uh, Natalie uh, Berice, uh, 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 that's a last uh, 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 record which is called Ma Mapping Debris, which is kind of a really strange because actually she took everything she had on the computer for a long time now and she did it again and mapping debris is the, the thing that normally when an airplane crash mm -hmm. you put everything together back to see what's going on exactly but that's quite interesting it's kind of a noisy electronic but thing like that so that's that's quite interesting so I want to translate and we'll say don't so ma'am thank you Merci thank beaucoup. you <laughs> thank you very much Alexis so it's really a pleasure with, uh, to talk to you and I'm I'm really very thankful we could talk hours now about animation because you are always so well prepared and you have so much in information about animation and so it's really big thank you from the name of Georgian animators <laughs> to you and thanks for inviting for sure. It's, it's, it's a pleasure really. I, I did not ask you about that but as somebody from the outside even if Olivier is from the inside and I ask Olivier if he think that there is something particular in Georgian animation you know something like that and uh, uh, because you can have CGI you can have mm. your, you can have a lot of things and he told me uh, actually no there is not one particular thing you know it's kind of a mix of a lot of things and that's what is interesting it's not only yeah it's like our culture also so everything is yeah, so quite mixed <laughs> so Nahuam this goodbye in Georgia uh